Howdy, sir. Come on, folks. Get your new Hanover Gazette today. How you holding up? Keep moving if I was you. <laughs> what did I tell you? Get the hell out of hey, here. Calm down. Maybe you can help us. It ain't like this is going well. Good job. Dude. Really? Ah, shit. Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. 
you think you can help us with locating some ingredients, we could reward you for your troubles. I could help. Happy to. You know, wild tobacco might give us the rich, earthy flavor we are looking for. Lucky you. I have that right here. Go on, lazy bones. Toss the plants into the batch so we can test it out. Hey, that's ours, you son of a bitch! Uh, you couldn't... Uh, uh, now try that again! At least hit me properly. Uh. It's the start here. Okay then. <laughs>
idiot. <laughs> Visitors, huh? Hey, need a hand here. You need to listen to me. You really can't take a joke, can you? You best take him seriously. You made up.
Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Starting to look like home. It's taking shape. One night when I was frisky From too much pole to whiskey Like the waves on the bay of Bithy I began to tumble and roar My face was red like a lobster 
Morning, Mr. Morgan. Glad to be off that Please. mountain, Mr. Pierce. Come on, you brought me in. Help me. Lots to do now. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the, uh... Cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I, I told you, mister. I told all he is. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, huh. Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. You sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh... We're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. He takes. You got us to comb? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are. It's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Let's go if we're gonna go. That's cool, girl.
You sure as shit was. John, Phil, right come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. We riding? Yep. Here. Okay, girl. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like God damn. You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan! You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Doug said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I'd do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you. If you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us, then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive, we're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. 
Don, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boss, we're almost on. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. Look out! Very funny, Morgan. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. Settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the rig. Okay, get down. Cabin's in the cleaner down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. And over there, someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. You know what's really quiet? You want me to take him? Stay here. Don't you damn move. The next two. What's the plan? We're waiting. Get fired!
Okay. Now what? We're at the perimeter. Morgan? Combs be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Give it up. Now, what you stashing in here? Ain't you checking the cabin for Comb? What you got, O'Driscoll? They call me be in the cabin. You ain't gonna check the cabin. I will. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. 
All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. 